Look, why? The doors don't go up like this? Yes, come on now. What are you talking Come on now. We you got me normal doors? Normal my doors? Dream is car a Tesla. Is my dream car is an X. But he still got you the No, this exactly. is not my dream car. Bro, chill out. Why are you acting like that, bro? Neighbor gonna come outside. No, this is a piece of shit. It's yeah. not a piece of shit. It's a charger. I mean, it's fucking Where Tesla. did you get it from? Why is it look so dirty? I have to drive it here. I have to go in the HOV lane. We were trying to Bro, rush here. bugs on it. Like, how are you going to Since she didn't like it, he should return it. That money can be used for a lot of things. That's what I'm saying, bro. She belongs to the streets. Take it back. Get her a bus pass. It's electric. How's she supposed to act? You will never make her happy. Help me understand why you would buy your girlfriend a car. She needs a bag of quarters for the bus. Sail it. Let her buy her own. Problem solved. What makes this scene more interesting is her facial expression. Her entitlement is on a different level. She is acting as if she gave him the money to buy the car and he got the wrong one because this is not an expected reaction of someone who just got gifted. It doesn't matter whether they didn't like it they still shouldn't have this reaction. And I don't know why he's still trying to convince her that it's a good gift when she clearly didn't appreciate his effort to begin with. He would be better off returning it and use his money on something for himself because there is no point. It's obvious that she's hard to please and he has to decide whether this is the type of relationship he wants to be involved in. But why was he gifting a girlfriend a car? This is the type of gift that should only be given to someone with whom we have a deeper connection, not a girlfriend who isn't able to understand the value of his gesture. Based on how calmly he was trying to explain it, we can clearly see that he is very patient, because I know other guys wouldn't waste their time trying to justify why the car door isn't as perfect as she dreamed. I gotta talk about this because this irritated me. I just saw a post... <laughs> where a lady was talking about how she found her soulmate, how her husband just worked overnight, like a really long shift, and he came home and, you know, he was like, hey, um, I'm really tired, I'm gonna order some food. She said, no, I'm okay, me and the baby already ate. And then he was like, okay, so he ordered food, and when the food came from DoorDash, um, she opened it and she smelled it and she immediately wanted to eat. And out the bag, he pulls out a burrito for her. Like, he already had ordered her food. So it made her emotional, whatever, and she's like, I found my soulmate. What bothers me about that is you were, you know your husband just worked an over OD shift. You ate, but you didn't have no food ready for him when he got home? That was a good question, and it would be nice if we had an answer for it. I am glad that she found her soulmate, but it would be better if he expressed the same feeling. And you talking about, oh, he thought about me. Why didn't you think about him? I can't with these women nowadays, bro. I cannot. You're telling me that you're okay with this man working all day, coming home and catering to you because he's thinking about you, but you can't reciprocate that energy. And then you wonder why these men be so miserable and cheat. I'm not saying cheating is right, but I literally like when you're not holding your end of the deal, it's very one sided relationship. But if it was the other way around now, here, I just, bro, those double standards be crazy. Be crazy as hell. She said she found her soulmate. She never said he did. Now I'm asking the same question. Why there was no food for him? Lady, you are a pick me. You know nothing. That was my first thought. How did he have to work and come home to order food? She knew that he worked incredibly hard to meet her needs and provide for the family. Despite this, she never seemed to think much about preparing something for him or making an effort in that regard. It might seem like a small thing, but preparing his meals would have been a simple and meaningful way to show her love and appreciation for everything he is doing for the family. He was genuinely a good man, even when he realized that she didn't prepare anything for him, he still went out of his way to get something for her. Whether it was bringing her something special or simply thinking of her in the midst of his busy life, she could see how much he cared and how much effort he put into making her feel loved and valued. She was happy when he made these efforts, recognizing that he had her best interests at heart. However, it's important for her to ask herself if he could say the same about her own actions. It might not have seemed crucial at the moment, 
but such small gestures of care and consideration can significantly impact their relationship. Even if her husband didn't express it, her lack of effort could lead to issues later in the relationship. A little attention to his needs and a simple act of reciprocation could strengthen their bond and show that she truly values and appreciates all he does for them. Why did nobody tell me that there is this unspoken rule about sleeping with a man within three days? If you don't do that, they're gonna check out. And I really proven that theory. Really, like you can be the best version of yourself. He can like you, you can like him, but if there is nothing happening within three days, they just disappear. And you know, it's the same cycle over and over again. And sometimes you question yourself that the sad reality is uh, in our society, everything is sex based. No sex, no nothing. They don't wanna be friends. They don't wanna get to know you. They don't care. Not true. Guys will definitely get to know you if they're interested and stick around. Girl, that's not true. If they are interested, they will stay without giving it up. Who wants to waste time and money? She is not talking about most men, because depending on the women we are dealing with, most of us would let things happen at the right moment. We don't follow any specific rules. Her view is probably related to the type of men she has been dealing with. Besides this point, a lot of guys really don't want to be in situations where they feel like their generosity is being taken advantage of. Many have likely experienced being kept around only for the benefits they can provide, and nobody wants to be placed in that position. We are trying to adapt to the new dating norms, which can be challenging for everyone involved. But think about this, how long would Drake have to wait? It's clear Chad wouldn't have to wait long, so it's understandable when other guys don't want to be kept waiting either. We are looking to avoid being strung along or having our time wasted. We want to ensure that our efforts are met with equal interest and appreciation. Another issue is the frequent experience of ending up in the friend zone. This often feels like we are just a source of free attention and validation without any real romantic interest in return. We want to be more than just a source of emotional support. It's about seeking relationships where there's a real connection and mutual respect, rather than just being another person filling a void. Yo, this girl tripping, bro. She's trying to get a Sony TV You're gonna get her for, me, right? for 25, but I'm telling her, bro, I can just get her a TCL 70 inches for 400 bucks, bro. No, What's the difference? Different. You can't even see the colors. You're blind as hell. No, you're not. You're, not getting, you're getting this one. If she wants it so bad, she can pay for it. Since she is refusing the gift he offered, she should be prepared to pay for the one she actually wants. He was being generous and willing to give her something within his means, but for some reason, she was interested in something else. It's as if she's trying to dictate what TV he should purchase, even though she's not the one footing the bill. If the gift had been purchased with her own money, then it would make sense for her to have a say in the decision. But since it was a free gift, she should focus on being grateful rather than demanding something different. He made an effort to provide something thoughtful and within his budget, and she needs to understand that if she wants something else, she should be responsible for it herself. Her actions might discourage him from wanting to get her a gift in future. It's important to recognize that accepting a gift with gratitude is about appreciating the gesture and the thought behind it, not about having the power to dictate its specifics. If she really wants a different gift, she needs to consider making arrangements on her own rather than expecting someone else to meet her preferences without any contribution from her side. I'm convinced that every single girl has that one guy that the guy either never liked them back or the guy just never gave him a chance that like that girl would literally drop anything to be with. Not even be with, but I'm just like go on a date or go do something. I'm like, I have that one guy from high school and I'm like, if he were to reach out, I would drop everything, all my hoes. I'm like, let's go out, let's do something. Take me out, like I will hang out with you any day of the week. I'm like, I still stalk his socials. I still keep up with him. Like I know what he's doing. He probably is, he doesn't even follow me. Like he definitely has not seen what I'm doing for the past four years. I think I've seen him once and talked to him once and I was like so nervous and I'm like, it has been now five years since I've even spoken to him. Why am I so nervous? He make, 
I don't know. But I'm convinced that every girl has that one guy that the guy just like really never gave them that chance and it was like maybe close or something and it just never worked out. But I'm convinced, I don't know. I'm convinced me and him are still gonna like, he's gonna come around one day, one day. That's a valid point about how this situation often plays out. It's common for them to be deeply affected by Chad's in their lives. They seem to linger in their thoughts and memories, no matter what. They are willing to make all sorts of sacrifices for Chad's, while simultaneously overlooking the good guys who come in their direction. They might write off these good guys, especially those who are genuinely interested in a serious relationship, by saying they're not in their league. This can be a way of dismissing the quality of these men simply because they don't fit the image of what they initially want or expect. But later we will find them back on social media, wondering where all the good men have gone. It's as if they're suddenly searching for the very type of person they once dismissed or overlooked. The good guys who were once ignored or deemed not good enough end up being the very ones they go after later on. It underscores the idea that most ladies might regret not recognizing the value of those who were genuinely interested in them from the start. This is the end of today's video and I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe on your way out.